the second day we address the questions what's going to happen in the future we studied environment trends with the underlying reactive assumptions that those things would create their future by the end of the second day we were even more depressed things were going to get worse before they got better and everyone knew it so on the third day we decided to focus on the proactive questions what is our response what are we going to do how can we exercise the initiative in this situation in the morning we talk about managing and reducing costs in the afternoon we discuss increasing market shares we brainstorms both areas then concentrated on several very far practical very doable things a new spread of excitement hope and proactive awareness concluded the meetings at the every end of the third day we summarize the results of the conference in a three part answer to the question how's business part 1 what happening to us is not good and the trend suggests that it will get worse before it get better part 2 but what we are causing to happen is very good for we are better managing and reducing our cost and increasing our market share part 3 Therefore, business is better than ever. Now, what would a reactive mind say to that? Oh, come on! Face fact: you can only carry this positive thinking and self-psych approach so far. Sooner or later, you have to face reality. But that's the difference between positive thinking and proactivity. We did face reality. We face the reality of the current circumstances and of for. future projections but we also face the reality that we had the proper to choose a positive response to those circumstances and projections not facing reality would have been to accept the idea that what happening in our environment had to determine us Business communities, groups, organizations of every kind, including families, can be proactive. They can combine the creativity and resourcefulness of proactive individuals to create a proactive cultures within the organization. The organization does not have to be at the mercy of the environment. It can take the initiative to accomplish the shared values and purposes of the individual involved. Listening to our language. because our attitudes and behavior flow out of our paradigms if we use our self awareness to examine them we can often see in them the nature of our underlying maps our language for example is a very real indicator of the degree to which we see ourselves as proactive people the language of reactive people absolves them of responsibility that's me that's just the way i am i am an i am determined that's nothing i can do about it he makes me so mad i am not responsible my emotional life is governed by something outside my control i can't do that i just don't have the time something outside me limited time is controlling me if only my wife were more patient someone else behavior is limiting my effectiveness i have to do it circumstances or other people are forcing me to do what i do i'm not free to choose my own actions reactive language there's nothing i can do that just the way i am he makes me so mad they won't allow that i had to do that i can't i must if only proactive language let's look at our alternative i can choose a different approach i control my own feelings i can create an effective presentation i will choose an appropriate response i choose i prefer i will that language comes from basic paradigms of determinism and the whole spirit of it is the transfer of responsibility i am not only not responsible not able to choose my response one time a student asked me will you excuse me from class i have to go on a tennis trip you have to go or you choose to go i asked i really have to he explained he exclaimed what what will happen if you don't why they they'll kick me off the team 
how would you like the consequences i wouldn't in other words you choose to go because you want the consequences of staying on the team what will happen if you miss my class i don't know think hard what do you think would be natural consequences of not coming to class you wouldn't kick me out would you that would be a social consequences that would be artificial if you don't participate on the tennis team you don't play that's natural but if you don't come to class what would be the natural consequences i guess i'll miss the learning that's right so you have to wait the consequences against the other consequences and makes a choice i know if it were me i choose to go on a tennis trip but never say you have to do anything i choose to go on a tennis trip he meekly replied and missed my class i replied in mock disbelief a serious problem with the reactive language is that it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy people become reinforced in the paradigms that they are determined and they produce evidence to support the belief they feel increasingly victimized and out of control not in charge of their life or their destiny they blame outside forces other people circumstances even the stars for their own situation at one seminar where i was speaking on the concept of proactivity a man came up and said stephen i like what you are saying but every situation is so different look at my marriage i'm really worried my wife and i just don't have the same feeling for each other we used to have guess i just don't love her anymore and she don't love me what can i do the feeling isn't there anymore i asked that's right he reaffirmed and we have three children we really concerned about what do you suggest love her i replied i told you the feeling just isn't there anymore love her you don't understand the feeling of love just isn't there then love her if the feeling isn't there that's a good reason to love her but how do you love when you don't love my friend love is a verb love the feeling is a fruit of love the verb so love her sacrifice listen to her empathize her appreciate from her are you willing to do that in the great literature of all progressive societies love is a verb reactive people make it all feeling they they are driving by feelings hollywood has generally scripted us to believe that we are not responsible that we are a product of our feeling but the hollywood script does not describe the reality if our feelings control our actions it is because we have abdicted our responsibilities and empower them to do so proactive people makes love a verb love is something you do the sacrifice you make the giving of self like a mother bringing a new born into the world if you want to study love study those who sacrifice for others even for people who often or do not love in return if you are a parent look at the love you have for the children you sacrifice for love is a value that is actualized through loving action proactive people subordinate feeling to values love the feeling can be recapture circle of concern circle of influence another excellent way to become more self aware regarding our own degree of proactivity is to look at where we focus our time and energy we each have a wide range of concern our health our children's problems at work the national that nuclear war we could separate those from things in which we have no particular mental or emotional involvement by creating a circle of concern as we look at those things within our circle of concern it becomes apparent that there are some things over which we have no real control and other that we can do something about we could identify those concerns in the latter group by circum circum circumscribing them within a smaller circle of influence 
by determining which of these two circles is the focus of most of our time and energy, we can discover much about the degrees of our proactivity.